The first thing you need to do is pick out a brush. We're going to make an underpainting, which means we're going to do the large areas first. So you'll probably want to pick the larger of the two brushes, because big areas cover big areas really quickly. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this big brush, I'm going to put her out in space. So I'm going to find some black, and I'm going to dip the tip of my brush right here. This is not watercolor, this is tempera. So I dip the paint first, and you can see that there's still a lot of this hair showing here. Um, and it looks like I got a little bit on here. So we want to be careful when we're dipping to just get the color we want. And you don't have to go right up next to her because we can come in with a small brush later and fix some of those details. But I'm going to do this rather quickly because I've got a big brush and it covers a big area. Anytime that it starts to look scratchy, you can go ahead and dip in that paper, in that uh, paint again, and uh, it's starting to look a little bit dry and scratchy here. So I dip the tip again, and I can go over that area. Now I've got the large areas done, and so I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to wipe off the extra paint on this paper towel that I have, and then I'm going to swirl it around in the water and just leave it there. I'm going to switch to my third largest brush, and I'm going to dip the tip in there again, and you can see that there's still some uh, of the hair showing, and I can go right up next to that boot and I can come in and get some of those details done. It's starting to get a little scratchy, so I'm going to go back in so I have a nice thick paint covering that area. Alright, I can touch up any areas that looks like I didn't get it on thick enough. And so forth. I can come in here. Alright, then once again when I want to switch colors, I'm going to take my paper towel and wipe most of the paint off on it, and I'll rinse it out in the water. I don't want to tap like this because that will get water all over the table and all over my neighbor's painting. I'm going to rinse it out. I'm going to do some more of kind of drying because I don't want a whole lot of water in my brush. And then I'm going to go ahead and go in and get some red. Once again, I dip the tip. And now I can come in and, like I said, I'm going to do these large areas first. This is just the underpainting. We're not doing detail work first. So I can go right up to the edge of that black with this red here.